Today, we're back working on our moon base. If you guys missed last episode, we transformed our end into a space station. And yeah, in the comments, you guys loved it. I got so many new ideas from you guys, and I'm ready to work on it some more and continue the amazing project. But before that, do you see anything different right now? Is it the grass? Is it the sky? Is it my face? It's actually all of the above. I just made a bunch of big changes recently, one of them involving my face cam. Hope you like it. It's a little bit different. I also uninstalled Optifine and put on a mod called Sodium. Why, Farzy? Why would you do that? Because Sodium is an FPS boosting mod, so if you're on Java, check it out. Look at these rates! I'm getting 90 FPS in this gigantic six-year-old kingdom. This is great. Because usually I get a ton of lag, and this just feels way smoother. And finally, I also made my grass a little bit greener, thanks to my resource pack, so things look lush and colorful and saturated. So yeah, I'm excited. We got so many new things to look at today, but enough talking about things and stuff. That was descriptive. Let's get back to our moon base and talk about about today's exact plans. On the road we go. Oh, I have no Optifine, so I can't zoom. I gotta use my spyglass like a normal Minecrafter. Oh, that's weird. If you guys are wondering why I can't use Optifine anymore, it's because Sodium and Optifine don't mix together, so yeah. Most of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you like this video, please change that. And welcome to the moon. So this is quote unquote the moon. It's basically the end with a giant space station in the middle. It's sick, look at this place. Now this took a lot of iron, but also Broderick. You laid an egg. Oh, baby Broderick! Broderick Jr. This was not planned. Broderick Jr., how you doing? You were pregnant? Okay, I'll come back to you guys later. Wow, that is a big development. <laughs> but yeah, this is my space station, my lunar base. Tons of rooms, tons of amazing future builds. And of course here is a nice little lunar habitat with the lush green grass that, oh, I love this resource pack. But yeah, this is the place. And as I mentioned earlier, you guys gave me so many good ideas in the comments for things to build. So today, we're gonna make some of these rooms and put some of your ideas inside of here. Now, first and foremost, I do want to make a living quarters for the astronauts. You gotta think, if you're gonna be living in here for, you know, six to eight months studying and whatnot, you need a door, for one. But you need a place to sleep, eat, do your business. I said that weird. But yeah, first and foremost, let's go make a living quarters. Also, I got a name tag for you. Back home we go. Okay, so obviously, I'm gonna want to get some beds. I don't have any white beds. I kind of wanted white. That just seems kind of astronauty to me. Now, disclaimer, I have not actually practiced any of these builds. I'm kind of just winging it right now. So if it comes out terrible, we can always, you know, do some work on it. But for now, let's just honestly wing it and see what we can do. I'm also going to need some more iron from my semi-broken iron farm. If you guys missed last episode, I have this iron farm here, but it wasn't really working right, which required me to, uh, you know, steal the iron walls in the iron farm. Don't judge me. I needed blocks. I was on a time crunch. I stole blocks, okay? But I stole from myself. So it's not stealing, it's just borrowing. It, it's complicated. But if we go down here into this chest, I have a little bit of iron. That was a high-pitched voice right there. So I'm gonna take out all of this if I can, because I am certainly gonna need a bunch of iron blocks if I'm gonna make, you know, more iron builds. So yeah, these will be very helpful. And of course, the most important material here, Broderick Jr. Okay, I gotta get a little bit of wood, and I just realized the green grass, like the bright grass around the spruce trees looks a little weird. But what do you guys think? Give me some feedback. Do you like this, like, saturated texture? I think it looks really cool and like, you know, pleasing to look at, but if it's like too much for you, be honest. Oh, it just looks so good in some places though. All right, little Broderick, there's your name. This is adorable. And I'd say right in here can be the living quarters because it's right next to like the entrance area. So kind of a good spot. Got to fill in all the floors. Well, it's been a full week and I'm already out of iron. That's nice. I definitely got enough. I was so spoiled. I didn't realize how much iron I actually had stockpiled and I've used it all. So now I got to get all new iron for everything. All right, bedroom time. I'm thinking astronauts would probably have like some sort of bunk bed or like eh, Would they have bunk beds? I was thinking stack them up kind of like this, but I don't know if I like that system Okay, I'm just gonna line all the beds up here I think this actually makes a bit of sense and put some more over on this side as well one bed short uh, You know what? We'll do six astronauts. How about that? Now they're gonna want some personal stuff in here Maybe like a crafting bench uh, like a fridge for food. So I'll put a little refrigerator like that. Maybe some side tables next to their beds. Now again, don't judge me too hard because I'm kind of just winging this. If it looks terrible, we could always, you know, go do more stuff later to make it look better. But uh, I think this is a good start. But I also brought in some quote unquote dry food. Because you know, astronauts, they can't really have fridges on the moon. So I'm gonna keep this here just because it looks cool. But I'm gonna have like buckets of dried food. This can be like some dried fruit or something. Dried vegetables. Maybe just like a chest somewhere here just for like, I don't know, personal belongings. 
sure. And there we go, that's the living quarters. Again, it's not gonna be like crazy, it's a pretty standard build, but I think it makes sense and looks nice. Okay, now it's time to go get more blocks for another room. But first, funny story. Do you recall that whole monologue I made about how no more Optifine, I'm using sodium? Well, I changed my mind. I slept on it and I said, I'm gonna miss my custom sky, I'm gonna miss some of the Optifine lighting things, I'm just gonna miss a lot of things about Optifine, so I changed my mind. So sorry for wasting your time earlier, but you know me, I changed my mind a lot. I could even change it again, who knows? But right now, we're on our way to the science lab because for the next room, I want to make like a research site for like moon rocks and moon stuff. And I figure the science lab would be a great place to get some inspiration. Ender, man, I hate you guys so much. But inside here, we have these like studies and we can make a cool kind of study with some of the same blocks in here like maybe a grindstone Ooh, some end rods for like pipes oh yeah Ooh, like a plant study maybe like a like a moon plant growth testing room i got so many good ideas right now okay do i have any end rods here's my ender stuff i got 18. i also got some copper in here which i could possibly use take some of that with me do i have any redstone contraptions eh not that many i love using like dispensers and droppers because they look like like, you know, a science -y block, but I don't have many of them. How do you make a dropper? Do I need a bow for that? Oh, I don't. Wait, that's easy. Oh, that's really, really good. Droppers crafted. Okay, where should we build this next room? Robert Jr., should it be down that? Oh, there's only one way to go. Oh, I was gonna build it in here, but there's no floor yet, and I'm out of iron. Okay, I'll build it in here, I guess. Why not? Okay, so here's the idea. We're gonna have, like, some moon rocks all over the place that we quote-unquote mined, and we're testing them. So I'll have, like, a little machine here, and we'll put a pipe here that leads into a moon rock for like chemical testing and that I don't know goes up somewhere in the ceiling. Oh, we could make a drill. So here's like a cluster of moon rock, but I'll have like a drill coming out of the ceiling. And here's like the drill bit that comes down. That looks so sick. That looks so cool actually. Oh, I love that. Wait, can I make like end slabs? Probably not, right? I can make end stone bricks and probably slab those up. Here's some like pieces of moon rock that got fragmented when we mined into it. Oh, that looks so sick. Side note, that's a really cool block to use. Future reference there. And yeah, I'm just gonna make a bunch of builds like that where we're like testing out moon rocks for certain things and you know, more sci-fi projects. Here's what we got so far. We got another machine here. We got some more like slabs, some covers. Uh, we have some of these like, almost like barriers. So the astronauts know like, oh, don't run into this thing because it might break. The drill's a little bigger, made some, you know, barrels of moon rock. And yeah, I think this is a pretty good start for this room. Now the only room left that we haven't touched yet that's finished is this room, but this is kind of like a main corridor. What should I put in here? Also, you two should go into the moon rock study. That's where you're needed. Don't sit here and do nothing. You're not getting paid for this. I mean, you're not getting paid at all, but still, let's go. All right, Broderick, tell your son not to go into the end portal, okay? If you go in there, you're gonna die. All right, you guys can chill right here. Okay, here's the idea. When you go into space, you have to sanitize. Because if you put your earth germs on the moon, that could maybe wipe out an alien civilization at some point in time. So I'm gonna make a sanitation room here as we walk in. So we're gonna have to do like a... Like a cleansing here in the hallway, then walk in here and like, you know, have our armor and stuff, our space suits ready that are nice and, you know, clean. So I have a dispenser here. How could I do this? Okay, so you walk into like a glass fixture, kind of like a shower. In the middle here, we'll have our dispenser from the roof and a button right there. So we walk in here. Oh, let me actually make a floor, a little slab floor so the water won't, you know, go everywhere. And I walk in here and I say, sanitize, get sanitized. I lost the button. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. How am I gonna do this? Oh, now the button won't work. Hold on. Small little renovation. Made a little bit of like a top. Oh, I'm so dumb. How about here? Does that work? I'm so stupid. What am I doing wrong? All right, I figured it out. I put some things around it, made it bigger. Boom, it works great now. Hit the button, get all cleansed. Come on this side, turn it off, and then we can walk in. For a Minecraft YouTuber, I'm not that smart. Broderick, what are you doing? Oh, Junior, you grew up fast. But hey, dude, don't lay eggs in this research site. It's kind of uh, important that you don't mess with things. Got the astronaut suits here on display with some little pipes in them for some reason. But now it's time for our next project, which is going to include going to the nether. Hey puppy, how you doing? One of the suggestions I got in the comments was to make craters on the moon using basalt. And I love that idea because I think that would actually come out really, really cool, especially like, you know, with all the endstone around. So I'm gonna try that. So off we go to the nether. Now where can I find basalt? Oh, there's basalt in here. Oh wow, there's a lot of it actually. I'll take all of you, thank you. Oh, I need to clear 
clear spot. Wait, there's polished basalt? That actually looks really sick. I didn't know that was a thing. I actually did not realize that was a block in the game. That's really cool for any future builds I might have. Oh, give it a rest. I'm better than you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're better than me. You're better than me. You're better than me. At some point, I want to make like a strider build, whether it be like, you know, a strider like barn or stable or like a strider house or something with striders. That'd be a really cool project. I'm in a predicament. I'm in a predicament. I'm in a predicament. Uh, oh God. How do I get out of here? Uh, we're good. We're good. Thank you, God Armor. Okay, Basalt down. Now, what other block could I use to mix in with Basalt? Obviously, Deep Slate would be a good idea. But what if I use Obsidian because I have a ton of it? If you didn't know, last episode, I chopped down one of the towers and that got me all of that. So yeah, why don't we get a shulker box and uh, fill that baby up? Well, as I'm passing by, how's the iron farm doing? Any new iron for me? As I pass by tons of iron on the wall. I need this farm to get working properly because I need iron for, oh, it's working. Hey! I was gonna say I need iron to you know make my whole moon lab because it's all made of iron and this is wonderful What a beautiful sight watching a man burn to death YouTube don't demonetize me. Okay, so let's try and make it a crater. Maybe right over here, let's make like a big hole. How big should it be though? It's getting there. And my plan is just to sprinkle basalt and obsidian all over the place and just see if it looks, you know, cratery. Honestly, not too bad. I want to add a little bit more into here, but this is like a really good start. I like this a lot. Okay, this is actually a great first crater. It's at like a weird angle because, you know, we're right inside this little cranny of the, uh, the space station. But if I make one more like, you know, out in the open, this might look really Really cool. Do you know what? Let's do one right over here. Let's try it out. I'm just hoping that we're not gonna like get in the way of the future space station if you know it comes down this way, but uh, hopefully we'll be okay. But that being said, let's build a crater. Look at this bad boy down here. Oh, it looks wonderful. Also, why am I using a spyglass? Remember, I got Optifine again. But yeah, that thing looks really good. I'll have to do a lot more of these all over the place. Like they look nice, but I want like a ton. Also, the fact that Crying Obsidian glows is a game changer. It looks like radioactive and like just alien it looks so good but i have to get down the rest of these towers these towers are breaking the immersion so bad so again over time i'm not gonna do these all today or tomorrow but over the course of like weeks or months i want to get these all down also the comments on my live stream reminded me that i can't spawn the dragon in ever again because if i do the towers will actually respawn which is going to stink so i am officially retired from dragon fighting it's fine okay so for our next moon build i had a crazy idea and for all my crazy crazy ideas. I like to live stream them because then I can, you know, get some live feedback with you guys and toss some ideas around. So yeah, I streamed, I built, here's the highlights. I kind of want to make like a moon rover, like, you know, one of those rovers that rolls around and like studies the rock. I want to do that. Um, boom, boom glass here and then this is where it goes up one two three like that oh this is so good i put a solid block and then i make a little uh radio thing here to radio back into the base wait that's a real that is a really good idea nope 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 what a stream what a wonderful build guys look at this rover i made at first it was supposed to be a lot smaller and more compact but i got building and i kept building and i kept building and i have this gigantic rover now it's also kind of like a diggers, like we're digging up moon rocks here, but it's like a rover because there's cameras, there's lights, there's like a radio beacon. And look at this, the tire tracks using like end brick. How cool is this? I called this build crazy for a reason because I would have never thought how I could build like this. Like how would I even build a rover on the moon? What would it even look like? But thanks to you guys in chat the other day, we made this amazing rover and I love it. But anyways, I think we are all set for building in here today. I just need to get a lot more materials. I just don't have like anything left. No iron, no quartz, no nothing. So instead, we're gonna get sidetracked and do something else. Now realistically, I actually need a lot more stone. Like I have a half chest full of cobble, I have a little bit of stone here, but I don't have a lot of stone blocks left in general. So I wanna go on a big mining trip because if you you guys don't know in this gigantic world i have this whole kingdom and i want to fill this place up hopefully before the next update comes out because my thought process was hey i might need to go move somewhere else to find the new caves and all the new stuff so i might need to leave this place but yeah anyways i need more stone to make more buildings because obviously these buildings use a lot of stone but and there is a big but here i want to use a beacon to insta mine but i don't have any iron left to make a beacon so do i have enough of another kind of material to make a beacon like gold maybe we're kind of close so let's go fortune up all this gold ore okay 
That doesn't seem high at all. Can't even see the kingdom anymore. Hey, Farzee statue. So we started out with about three stacks. So you guys want to see a magic trick? And we have a lot more gold. About double. But the question is, is that enough to make a full beacon? Oh, I'm short. I'm actually short. Okay, I'm just short of three blocks, but I realized I can take another kind of block, maybe like emerald, and those can fill in the gap. These are delicious caves right now. This could be the biggest cave of all time, honestly. Currently got about four stacks of raw iron and about four stacks of coal, so we are on our way. Oh, hello there. Are you the guardian of this mine shaft? Well, you are bad. Oh, baby. Mine shaft, give me goods. Golden apple, I'll take it. This cave might literally fund my entire space project. There's just so much iron. Okay, Due to that situation, I'm just gonna go home and use my beacon down in my own mind. That got a little bit dangerous for me. How are the blue axolotls doing? Are they still down here? Oh, they are. Hey, blue boy. You were such a pain to get. Please don't die. Not a bad haul at all. But as I said, now it's time to go crazy with our beacon and actually go get some stone. It is kind of rough down here, not gonna lie. I've already mined out here, apparently. And keep in mind, these caves are like five years old, so it's probably mostly mined up, but maybe down here we didn't touch it that much. Oh, I still have haste from the beacon before. Okay. Okay, I'll smack the beacon right over here. And here are the final blocks, and boom. Okay, let's smack on a haste with a haste two, and boom, we're ready to mine. So on that note, let's mine. more satisfying sound than this? I would say there is not. Oh, Jesus. I take it all back. But guys, this was exactly what the doctor ordered. We have so much stone, so much extra stone too that I can't even pick up anymore. But yeah, this has to become a norm. I have to come here more and do this. So much stone for building. I am happy. But that being said, that's about all the time I have for today. So I'm going to grab this beacon and meet you guys back home. So if you guys are new here, every single day I end the episode by getting a comment of the day. And that comment goes up in that giant rainbow called the comment rainbow. So yeah, let's go get the comment of the day. And today in the comment rainbow, we have a new comment by a not so new commenter. I've seen this person in the comments quite a lot and their name is A Setchi. Now A Setchi had a really long comment. I'm not gonna say the entire thing, but the part that really stuck out to me was, hope your college program in real life is going well. I can't express how much I appreciate you taking the time to do both at the same time. And that part really stuck with me because honestly you guys might not know that but I'm in college as I'm making videos and it is rough. Don't get me wrong I'm having a ton of fun doing it but I am spending a lot of my free time recording like almost all my free time recording so I really appreciate that they pointed that out and you know they were thankful because it really is a lot and when you guys are thankful it makes it seem so much more worth it so yeah thank you for the comment thank you all of you for your comments and thank you for the support. I am really loving the direction of this series. I'm loving how things are going and I'm loving all the supportive fans that I'm gaining along the way so thank you so much. So on that note make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff and I'll talk to you guys next time so until then, goodbye